The best way to grow the American quarter horse industry is to put a little girl on a horse. Edward McNellis believes this with all of his heart and has dedicated much of his life to helping make that happen. His motto is, I will not be part of programs that do not benefit youth. Ed graduated from the College of Idaho and Pacific Coast Graduate School of Banking and worked 34 years in banking. He lives in Nampa, Idaho with his wife, Vonze, and is currently involved in real estate, cattle, ranching, and horses. Ed has three children, Lena Banks, Brian McNellis, and Brian Brewer, and four grandchildren. Ed's vision and focus on the positive aspects of the horse industry never cease to amaze me, says Connie Blaney, Vice Chairwoman of the Idaho Horse Board. Ed has brought his expertise as a successful banker to enhance many aspects of horses and their various disciplines. Ed's involvement in the horse industry has been evident since his daughter Lena's early interest in showing American Quarter Horses. He has traveled across the state of Idaho in support of youth, showing, racing, and fundraising. Over the years, he has become a voice of the industry to the legislature in Idaho. Ed is a valuable member of the equine industry, working tirelessly to continue to promote, protect, and preserve that of which is great value to those of us and our youth, who appreciate how horses enhance our lives, says Connie. Ed is an AQHA Director Emeritus and has served on the Amateur, Public Policy, Membership Services, Marketing, Hall of Fame Selection, and Nominations and Credentials Committees, and the Affiliate and Foundation Councils. He is a past president of the Idaho Quarter Horse Association and Idaho Horse Council, member of the Governor's appointed Idaho Horse Board, Racing Steward in Idaho, and chairman of various committees. The list of his involvement goes on and on. Ed organized, developed, and chaired the Idaho Quarter Horse Hall of Fame. He also chaired and organized the first induction of individuals into the Idaho Hall of Fame. Ed has helped raise record amounts of money, grown the numbers of new members, held clinics for youth, and helped the Idaho Youth Quarter Horse Association be a force at the AQHYA World Championship show. I don't think he knows the meaning of no when youth are involved says Jay Stilwell, who is with the Idaho Horse Park. One particular event stands out in the mind of AQHA professional horseman Bob Avila while Ed was volunteering as chairman of the regional championships for Region 1. Ed wanted the local kids to have an opportunity to meet a great American quarter horse ambassador, Chick's Magic Potion. Bob traveled with Magic from California to Idaho to do a demonstration and set aside time for the youth to enjoy learning about American quarter horses. This was not just a regional show, but instead, Ed was clear that the main purpose was to create an inclusive event that reached out to new youth and offered them many ways to be involved, says Bob. Ed was passionate about ensuring that each youth had a chance to touch magic so that they would walk away with a better appreciation for the American Quarter Horse. It was such a powerful experience. Ed has always been a writer and has written for state, regional, and national publications. He understands the value of communication and informing people. He also donates all income derived from his writing to youth-related programs and has helped raise thousands of dollars for American Quarter Horse Youth, 4-H, FFA, Youth Day at the Races, and other youth programs. Ed's life has been dedicated to helping improve the successes of our beloved American Quarter Horse family, as well as serving many other community service organizations in the Northwest. I can think of no one more deserving of this special recognition than Ed for his years of dedication and service to the American Quarter Horse, the citizens of our state and region, and the youth and their wonderful leaders, said AQHA Director Emeritus, the late Colonel Earl Lilly. It is with great pleasure that we award the 2018 Merle Wood Humanitarian Award to Edward McNellis.